This film is about handling, assembling and positioning machines. With all these machines, movements are obtained by a combination of components such as slides for linear movements, rotary actuators or grippers, a gripper such as this one for instance or a rotary actuator of this kind. These elements have to be combined to obtain the desired movements, but component fixing systems rarely combine with those of the component you wish to mate. It is therefore necessary to design and build custom adapters. In this case, for example, as there is a round flange, so you need a flanged adapter of this type. This entails designing, building, assembling and setting up a whole set of elements. Often they are only used once for a single application. And the cost and the design and development times are not justified. The system we present here is an innovative one that allows you to connect all the elements together without the need for an adapter of any kind. It is obtained by creating a dovetail profile on all the components, 40 millimeters wide and a series of cross-wide slots 6 millimeters wide. To connect two components together, all you need is an ordinary bracket and two screws. Then merely join the two dovetails, tighten the screws and that's it. Let us now see how simple the V-Lock system is and how it works. We have prepared a small frame that uses Montec aluminium sections. Onto this we fix a rodless cylinder that has legs with V-Lock fittings. The carriage also has three V-Lock fittings at the front that can be used for fixing anything. Here, an S14 series precision slide is being mounted. It is placed in position and the two M5 screws are tightened using a screwdriver. Here, a gripper is being applied. Again, it is correctly positioned and the two screws are tightened using the same screwdriver. The system is now mechanically ready. The prepared air pipes are now connected to show how it works. The rodless cylinder, the S14 slide and the gripper are all connected. As you can see, the V-Lock system is so simple that it takes longer to connect the pipes than it did to mount it all mechanically. It has only taken a few minutes to create a pick and place device with two orthogonal linear movements and a gripper function. Now, let us see how easy it is to reconfigure a system, converting one handling system into another one. With production equipment, you often need to change the application and use the machine for assembling and handling items that differ from those for which it was designed. With traditional systems, the machine has to be re-engineered and new adapters designed and built. With the V-Lock system, all you have to do is decide what you want. The device can be dismantled in a few minutes and reassembled differently. Let us suppose, for example, that you want the S14 slide to rotate rather than move in a linear direction. 
To do this, we fix a Series R3 rotary actuator on top of the rodless cylinder. Now we want to fix the gripper, but it needs to be perpendicular to the axis of rotation. The V-Lock catalog contains various kinds of elements for positioning the products. In this case, we are using a 90-degree V-Lock bracket to secure the next element rotated through 90 degrees. Now, we are going to remount the previous gripper, which will be rotated through 90 degrees. To secure it, just tighten the same two screws as before. The new manipulator has been prepared mechanically and it can be connected pneumatically by inserting the air pipes in the fittings in the two new elements. So, we now have a linear axis, a rotary axis, and a gripper. There is complete freedom with regard to the number of elements to assemble and their positions. Now, we can show the application on the same basic Montec frame of another pick and place made with cheaper elements compared to the S14 high precision slides. Here, you can see the V-Lock guide units, which are operated by ordinary ISO 15552 cylinders or ISO 6432 mini cylinders. First of all, the guide unit for horizontal movement is fixed onto the frame. Then another guide unit for vertical movement is mounted on it. In this case, it is identical, but it could easily be another size. We could also create two horizontal axes at right angles using the same 90 degree bracket we used earlier. Having mounted the vertical axis, we can now apply a gripper to show you a system formed by two linear axes and a workpiece clamping device. Assembly is now complete. It has taken a minute or two to create a new pick and place completely different from the two previous ones without having to design or develop a specific adapter. The V-Lock system is so universal that it can be fixed onto structures of any kind. Here, on the left of this display top, we have prepared a small portal using aluminium sections made by Metra. It could, in fact, be mounted on sections of any make, such as Bosch or Item, because the V-Lock system incorporates a universal adapter. To achieve this result, we have used this universal adapter, which has on one side a V-Lock fitting and two slots for fixing on any profile. Another feature we want to show you is how the V-Lock system can allow extremely accurate repositioning. The V-Lock has crosswise grooves that are mainly used to accommodate the screws. The grooves are made with H7 accuracy. The system also has perforated precision keys that fit in the slot. The screw then passes through the key. This gives an H7-G8 accurate coupling longitudinally.